joined now by Emily Pike as we look at really nice temperatures for our Saturday and our Sunday. Yeah, Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Get your warm temperatures here. Oh, pleasant. Get your though. sun on Sunday, right? <laughs> Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. <laughs> but Saturday first, though. Yeah, well, first off, Saturday, right. Well, up to bat is that cold front. It's getting on out of here. Swoop. Because I know you like sports, Danny. Oh, well, uh, you can see, and I actually kind of want to point that out. You can see the uh, the clouds of, over off to the Atlantic. You still have some pop-up storms going over that way. Maybe if you have any boating friends that are out in the Atlantic, tell them to, hey, this system's on your way, on its way, I guess. But, um, you know, we are left with nothing. You know, the United States kind of doesn't really need that, though, sadly. I mean, despite the destruction, uh, despite the destruction of storms, we could really use the rain. I'll talk about that in a few minutes, but like we were mentioning, we are dealing with a few power outages out there. I saw Mississippi County has already started to restore. We are left with Jefferson County still trying to restore some power, and I'm sure that there's other areas that are not being mentioned on this or listed on this map. But as we look at our threat tracker, this weekend we are cooler. Notice the quotation marks on cooler. I'll mention that in a second, but we are looking at sun, sun, sun. And then as we go into next week, we get hot, hot, hot. So uh, it's a musical forecast for you if you haven't been warned because we're looking at a bright sunshiny day. All right, I'm done. Well, we are looking at a beautiful, beautiful forecast for us and it's not just for today. In fact, over the next few days, currently right now we are looking at temperatures rising into those lower 70s. We're going to be rising into at least those mid and upper 80s. If you are further south, I am sure you have more than a chance to get at least into those lower 90s. Just depends how the conditions favor. Then we're going to dip down. I think the coolest that we've been looking at for the last three weeks. We're going to be dipping into those upper 50s. Then we're going to skyrocket back into those upper 80s for our Sunday. Again, keeping out the sun. So if you want to go out tonight, it's going to be a good night for a campfire. But even if you go out for Father's Day or even today, grilling forecast for this weekend, we are looking at temperatures, again, almost staying the same as what I'm showing you here. Temperatures should be primarily into those mid and upper 80s. It's going to be great overall with those winds staying low. And if you are going for a hike, even after this weekend, well, you might want to bring the water because it's not bad in the red because of severe weather or anything. It's actually the lack of weather. And here we go. Dew point trends. We're in the low dew points into those lower and mid 50s, but we're going to start to rise as we go into the next week. And the higher the dew point and the higher temperature, the worse it's going to feel for us. We kind of experienced that last week. So here we go. This ridge builds in. We're going to circulate that warmer air. And in fact, looking at our six to 10 day temperature outlook, June 23rd to June 27th, we are above average for most of the United States. Now, this is actually bad news because again, for the same dates, June 23rd through June 27th, this entire area is going to remain below average and dry, something that we don't need, although we do need some rain. Uh, it's not impossible to see it in the forecast. We are looking at some chances going into our Wednesday and maybe even Thursday, but really our focus is on the temperatures possibly reaching the triple digits. So even though we are enjoying, enjoying some more sun, we are going to be noticing some temperatures rising, and that's not even the heat index, so be mindful of that. It's going to be pretty warm. Yeah, it definitely is a pocket full of sunshine for anyone else out there. Right? I got a pocket, got a pocket full of sunshine. Okay, I'm okay, nope. We got to stop nope. that. <laughs> Thank